All right, today I'm going to talk to you about WinPE, how to create a WinPE environment, and how to customize it. Now, WinPE um, is what's called a pre installed environment. It's an operating system that you can put on a CD or flash drive and boot to it. You don't have to install anything. It's generally used for system deployment, um, but it has a bunch of other uses too. It has it, you, know, you could use it for recovery and all kinds of stuff. Um, normally it's put on, a, as I said before, a CD or a flash drive. Um, I'm going to be showing you version 3, which I believe is the latest version, and it is Windows 7 compatible. So There's also uh, a ton of documentation on the internet and Microsoft does a really good job of uh, documenting everything they have so their documentation is worth looking at. St uh, another thing I want to talk about before we actually get started is the Microsoft Development Toolkit. This is a great tool to have. Um, it comes with the Deployment Workbench which actually has a bunch of tools for like user migration and all kinds of other great stuff and you and you can download all the programs directly from here that way you don't have to go out on the internet and search for them um, at, including Windows Automated Installation Toolkit but you don't need the workbench for that you can just go out and download uh, the uh, Windows Automated Installation Kit so let's go ahead and open that up we're gonna open the deployment tools command prompt here we go now, first thing we're going to do is we need to set up our environment. We need a copy of WinPE and the folders. So uh, there is a script provided by Microsoft called copype.cmd. Now, it takes two arguments. It takes the architecture argument and a destination argument. Now, the architecture can be x86 for 32-bit or AMD64 for 64-bit. I usually stick with x86 just so uh, for compatibility reasons. Um, I've never actually compiled a 64-bit version, but I assume it works the same way. So um, I'm going to go ahead and type x86. Now the destination can be anywhere you want, but for simplistic reasons I'm going to use uh, the root drive, my C drive and the root of it. Um, that way it's just easier for me to I have a short path and I can explain things a little bit easier. Alright, so we'll go ahead and hit return. Now, as you can see, it just copied a bunch of files. So let's actually take a look at that real quick. I'm going to get my C drive here. WinPE x86. Now, you'll notice that there's an ISO folder, a mount folder, and a WinPE.wim uh, file. This is the base image for WinPE. This is just WinPE with nothing, no extra stuff on it. Um, the ISO folder is where we're going to put stuff pretty soon here. And the mount folder is where we're going to mount this image. We want to mount it so we can add stuff to it. So let's go ahead and do that. Go back to the uh, deployment tools command prompt. Before before we do that, I'm actually going to go ahead and open up a, a notepad because I'm going to put some variables and I suggest you do the same thing. It'll be easier. I'm going to put, first I'm going to put my path for where WinPE uh, is located and that way I can just copy and paste it. I don't have to keep typing it. So we want to copy the WinPE image. Now there's two ways we can do this. You can do it through the command prompt or you can just manually cop copy it. I'm going to copy it into our ISOs sources and then paste it there. Now we want to rename it so we're going to rename it boot. It has It needs to be boot so rename it boot. So now we're going to want to mount the image. We want to extract all the files so we can add to it. Now this is kind of a lengthy command but to start it off we're going to go DISM slash mount WIM slash WIM file. Now you're going to specify the location of your WIM file. Uh, the boot WIM file we just made. So mine's located in ISO sources boot.wim. Now we need to specify an index and we'll normally want to make it one. This is a little bit more of an advanced thing that I'm not going to go into. But just 
For default values, just leave it at 1. Now we need to specify the mount directory where we want to extract all the files. So specify that, and I'm going to use the WinPE x86 mount folder that was uh, created for us automatically by the script. Now you can see it's mounting the image. Now if we wait till it's finished. Now if we go back and look in our mount directory, you'll notice we have a bunch of folders here. Now this is the uncompressed version of the WinPE image. So what I'm going to show you how to do now is how to actually customize it. There's a lot of stuff you can do. You can add packages, which are little extra features um, that are optional that you can add. You can add drivers. You can add programs. Um, so first, I'm going to walk you through how to add a package. Um, there's a bunch of packages. Um, you can find out which ones are which and what they do in the documentation. I'm just going to use a scripting language um, one. There's one for recovery. There's one that supports other languages. There's all kinds of stuff. So check out that documentation. Now again, this is going to be kind of a lengthy command, but it's DISM image. Now we're going to specify the folder, the mount folder, WinPE x86 mount. Now we're going to add the argument add package. And then we add another argument called package path. Now the packages are actually included within uh, the Windows automated installation kit. So again, you'll have to read the documentation, but I it's a long uh, path, so I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste it in. And we are now adding the package. It's copying the files. It's copying, extracting the cab uh, to our mount directory. And then you can see it right here. There we go. That's how easy it is to add packages. It's not hard. Adding drivers is almost just as easy. All right, for drivers, you'll need the stripped down actual INF and CAT uh, files for drivers. You can't, that I know of, you can't use exe files. So for an example, I've downloaded some Dell drivers. They are for a uh, LAN card, I believe. Uh, I normally use the XP drivers whenever I download drivers, uh, so we'll just do that. Um, you can see I have the sys, cat, and inf files. These are the files that you'll need to install drivers on your WinPE uh, image. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this, copy this path to make it easier. For this command, we're going to run dism and specify the mount location, which was c WinPE x86 slash mount. Now we are going to use the uh, argument add dash driver and then we do slash driver and then we specify the driver location so I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste oh I have forgot a character there we go now it's automatically going to search this folder for all drivers within that folder See, as you can see, it found the, found both drivers. There we go. That's how easy it is. You just need to specify the folder location. Um, if you want to add programs, I don't know the full extent of the functionality for programs, but I assume that you can only add programs that don't require an, an installation. Um, one of the tools that comes with uh, the installation toolkit that's really handy is ImageX.